<laughs> Long time no see. Um, I have not put out a video diary in a couple days because I have been really busy. <laughs> um, I literally just got home. I watered my grass. I watered my plants because I haven't watered them in like a couple days. And I won't be, be able to water them pretty much the rest of the week. So I have my, my sprinklers are on a timer, but I like to water my grass um, when I get the chance to on my own because I could thoroughly like hit the, the spots that are dry, you know? You know, like how sometimes the sprinklers don't always get everything. I need to light a candle because I need to relax. <laughs> um, oh, there's my... There's my hermit bookmark. Oh my God, I've been looking for that. Um, so <laughs> it's been a week. It has been a week. I need to take these. I've been wearing my aquamarine bracelet all week. Like every day I go to work, I've been wearing it. Um, it's been such a nice comfort. And I've also been wearing my Pisces bracelet too. But uh, I gotta take them off because I can't can't work with like stuff jingling on my <laughs> on my wrists I'm gonna I'm gonna paint my nails so I I took the polish off that I remember that like that like greeny gold shiny polish that I put on last week um so I took it off today because it was all chipping and I'm not gonna be I'm gonna redo the nails like the night before I leave on Wednesday so um probably Wednesday Wednesday morning I'll probably redo them um, but I, I need to put something on them because it's just, they look nasty. So I'm going to put some clear coat on them because they're already starting to peel. Like my nails start to peel at the, the tips. So ugh, they just look really bad. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, I just, I literally, I just got back from taking my husband to the airport. We spent the day, literally the day, um, down the hill. We visited my parents. We visited his parents. Um, we had just, we had some lunch down there. Um, at a burger joint that I love like I've been to that burger joint since I was a little girl and so <laughs> I was like let's go eat there for lunch and it was so good so we pigged out on burgers and fries and just had a fun afternoon with my parents and his parents and it was nice so um, and then after that I dropped him off at the airport and then I just hit the freeway right after that so I'm still full from I'm still full from full from lunch and I had a little bit of beans at my mom my mother-in-law's house so I'm like not really hungry um, for dinner but I'm thinking I'll probably scramble an egg or two for dinner later after I'm done with this video <laughs> maybe if I start to feel hungry but I think I'll be good um, so yeah, so that's, that's what I did. And then I got home and I was like, the sun was still, it, the sun was starting to set, but it was like still light enough for me to water the grass. So I watered the grass real fast, watered my plants and, um, and here I am. So <laughs> I was like, I need to, I need to do something. So I was like, it's either work on client video readings, which I might still do. I might do one or two. Um, and then, um, I wanted to do a, a YouTube video because it was like, I haven't done one and I missed it. So <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't know though, like my client video readings, I need to I need to, to do them, but um, I'm gonna be so busy this week, you guys. I, even, I announced it on my Instagram. I'm gonna be sending out emails to my clients. Um, I'm gonna check my business book, my little, which I'm using it as a, <laughs> I'm using it as a stand right now, like to stand my tripod on. Um, but I need to check the business book to see how many appointments I have for readings. And I've received a couple of orders um, like within the last day or two. So those I'm not gonna get to until next Sunday, Monday. <laughs> so um, it's just a crazy week with this is this is the week that my husband graduates this is the week that I'm only working I'm working tomorrow um, I had to work Saturday normally I would have had Saturday off I had to work Saturday because I'm switching um, with my coworker. so I worked her Saturday and she's gonna work for me this coming Saturday and um, and then I'm working tomorrow which I don't normally work Mondays um, but I'm working tomorrow to 
switch with my coworker for Thursday so I could have Thursday off. So it's just a wacky week. Um, <laughs> and it kind of sucks because Mondays is my day that I usually film a lot of my readings. But since I have to go into work, um, I need to. I need. I mean, I need to make up some of the hours. I don't want to be completely short on my paycheck, you know? So, um... So yeah, that's why. And usually like I would have today, like Sunday, but I spent the whole day with my husband. So to me it was worth it, but it was like, well, it was it was kind of like, ugh, I couldn't work on readings, but I would rather work I would I would rather spend time with my husband obviously. So the readings I had to like put on the back burner until um tonight. <laughs> so it's already going to be um 7 o'clock. And I'm not going to be doing all of the orders that I have because that's just too much. It's too much. Um, so I think I'm going to do one or two. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. But I still have to pack my bag. So I don't know, you guys. I don't know what I'm going to do. I know that, I know that like my coworkers, my coworkers, I'm not even thinking straight. What the hell happened here? The lid just like completely twisted off. Um, <laughs> I know my clients will forgive me. So they're under I have very understanding clients which is nice um so I know you guys won't be too upset if I don't get to your readings but I want to see if I can get to at least one or two so we'll see that we'll see how it goes I like that clear polish it, it dries real fast <laughs> so um yeah you guys the I, I I have to remind myself I gotta go to work tomorrow <laughs> because usually I'm like oh, okay I have another day off and then I you know start the work week but no I'm going in tomorrow, going in tomorrow, I'm working Tuesday, um, and, and then Wednesday, I have Wednesday off, so I'm going to be home until probably about early afternoon, and then I'm going to hit the road, and um, my parents are going to take me to the airport, and then I'll be with my honey Wednesday night. So Wednesday night is the dinner night. It's the dinner, the graduation dinner, I guess you call it. It's not fancy. It's it's very casual. So um, it kind of takes the pressure off of having to like dress up, dress up, dress up, you know, like I would have liked to have dressed up, but um, that means I would have probably had, had to buy another dress. So I bought a dress for the graduation ceremony. Um, but I didn't have to buy a dress for the dinner, so that was cool. So they're all going in like polo shirts, collared shirts and jeans. Like they're going real casual. So I'm just going to go in some jeggings and some um, either some sandals or some flats. I haven't decided. I'll probably take both just in case. And, um, and a nice little blouse that I bought at Torrid. So super cute, super easy, simple. Um, and yeah, so that's the graduation dinner. And then Thursday morning is the seminar for the wives. <laughs> so, or the wives and family, but for the, for the spouses. So I'm going to that. And then we have a lunch with the cadets and then my husband's free after that. And then, um, Friday morning is the graduation. So it's going to go by fast this whole week. And then my husband and I are staying one night. We're staying Friday night up there in Sacramento. And then we're going to drive back down Saturday. We're going to take our time. And we're also probably, he's going to, we're, we're going to go look at the, what do they call it? The big trees, the redwood trees, the sequoias. I really want to see them. Um, so we're going to probably go do a quick little flyby <laughs> to see them. And then um, snap some pictures and stuff. And, and then head out and come back home because the kitties, the cats will be waiting for us. So yeah, and then my friend came over last night. So we were able to go over with him like, you know, the food, how to feed the cats, what to feed them, how much to feed them, you know, all of the, all of the fun stuff when he comes to check on the house and stuff. So it's cool. Um, and then it took a lot of like, a lot of pressure off of me because I was really worried about like well what if he's not going to be able to, to do this and who am I going to get to to watch my cats and I don't want to have to board them like oh my gosh I had so much on my mind but everything worked out he's able to do it um so he said he'll probably come by early morning to afternoon 
to check in on the cats, check on the house, feed them, and all that stuff. So I was like, very cool. So it's gonna it's gonna all work out. <laughs> but I was stressed, like I was stressing. And you guys know, I mean, I'm sure those of you who have like big things going on in life and you have like all these important plans, it's like when you have to go to work still <laughs> on top of all of it, it's like, you're, you're, I don't know about you guys, but my brain is just not, it's not present. Um, so <laughs> at work, I was at work Saturday. I was at work all week. I, I just didn't connect. I couldn't connect. Like, I feel like my, I left my brain at home. I was fucking up on all the dumbest things. Um, I'm pretty sure I annoyed my boss because I just was like screwing up on dumb things and I just wasn't there. Like I just, I mentally checked out because I, I have bigger things to worry about than work <laughs> and work was just it's just one of those things where it's like I'm here because I have to be and I need the paycheck but I'm not here presently in my mind <laughs> so I hope that you know um, I can get it together when all of this is said and done but I just have a lot going on in my life in my personal life I have a lot going on you know in my mind and there's just all this preparation and money and ugh, my husband has to order this and that it's just a lot so um I just want, I want everything to go smoothly. I want this to be over with so that we could settle down and relax just for a little bit. And then when he goes off to work, like he's, he, he like will start working after he, ha they have like a little bit of a break and then he will start working. Um, and then my parents are going out of town. They're gonna go visit my sister on the East Coast. So they're gonna be out of town and I'm gonna be house sitting and watching the dogs. So I'm, <laughs> For like a week I'm gonna be living at their house so it's just gonna be really interesting because my husband's gonna be starting his job I'm not even gonna be home I'm gonna be at my parents house so it's just gonna be a lot um, but we just got to get through it so it's kind of it's it's every year I feel that something major happens in October and I always feel like I don't get to fully enjoy October for what it is but I'm gonna do my best to like experience as much witchy horror um spooky spooky stuff and, and just enjoy fall as much as i can even though in my like real life i have a lot going on <laughs> so it is a busy month for me um but i'm determined to make the most of the spookiness when i can so we my husband and i went to costco the other day um on friday and um we got pumpkins so I have two pumpkins in my house right now and um, I told him I want to carve them when it gets a little bit closer to Halloween -y. Um, I want to carve my pumpkins and put them outside and all that stuff and but I'm not gonna worry about any of that until we come back from Sacramento so I'm not gonna deal I just I'm not gonna worry about it I'm just gonna do little by little every every day <sighs> I feel so much better now that my ugly nails are covered with polish. <laughs> and I took your guys' tip. I I used some clear coat um, as the base, and then I'm going to put it over the top. So, yeah. So, they look nice. I think they look nice. So, you guys, um, other than that, life's good. Um, my Pet cemetery book came in the mail um, yesterday. Sorry, left. It came in the mail yesterday, so I have this to read on the plane. Um, I have it to read now because I only got to like two chapters when I was reading the book I checked out from my library, but it's like this big hardcover, large print book. Like the other the other versions of Pet Cemetery that our library had were stolen or lost. So it was like a bummer because the only one we had was large print and so the, the words are huge <laughs> which made the book like double the size um so it was just like it's like a 600 page book versus like um the paperback is like 300 something pages or 400 pages of tops i think so i'm like yeah i don't really want to carry around that big freaking heavy book so it was just a turn off so i didn't read much of the pet cemetery until i knew i was gonna get the paperback so I now that I have it I'm like I'm gonna dig into it and it came just in time for October 1st so I'm really happy Starla come here stop it she's 
trying to get into my bag of tricks over there. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm gonna read Pet Cemetery, and I still have Rosemary's Baby, so I may read it too. I just haven't, <laughs> I just haven't gotten into it. Um, but yeah, I just hope my October doesn't fly by because of all of this stuff that's going on. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a feeling like before I know it, it's gonna be Halloween and then the thing is with Halloween you guys I work on Halloween um, And I close so I work till 7 and by the time I get home at 8 8 o'clock 830 It's gonna be so dark the trick-or-treaters will probably be pretty much done. I don't know. It's a weeknight So the kids probably won't be out late So it's kind of a bummer um, I don't know I haven't decided what I want to do about that but yeah <laughs> So it's just been interesting. It has just been an interesting, interesting uh, last couple days of September, that's for sure. Um, but aside from that, let's talk about the weather up here. Like, it has been so cool. Like, literally, the temperature has dropped significantly. Um, it was in the 80s the other day. I think today it barely hit 80 degrees. Um, my mother-in-law told me it's supposed to start warming up again and I'm like, oh, this kind of sucks, but I don't know. We'll see how much it warms up. So, um, I don't know. We'll see, but I think we're, we're, we're home free from like the hundred degree weather, the hundred degree weather. I think we're done with that, but, um, supposedly it's supposed to get up into the nineties again. I don't know. So I'm hoping like it won't, but we'll see it's been nice like it literally feels like fall and my husband and I were driving around on Friday and I was telling him the weather up here feels it reminds me of when we were house hunting because we started house hunting in October um, last year yeah last year and um, so I told him the weather up here how it's like crisp and cool at night um, reminds me of when we were house hunting and we were driving up here to like check out the neighborhoods We were scoping out the neighborhoods at night just to see like what was the nightlife like up here and um, And I told him um, It reminds me of that. So it was kind of like bittersweet <laughs> So yeah There's nothing like fresh nails. You guys should see my toes though. <laughs> my toes are a mess. I took off the polish on my toes too. So I have like naked toes and I'm not a fan of naked toes. I, I, I always, I like to have like polish on my toes. I just feel like I look weird without it. <laughs> but I'm, that, that, those are gonna wait. I'll paint those Wednesday morning. I just, I want fresh nails, like fresh polished nails for this whole week. And I know I'm going to take the polish with me just in case. But yeah. I think I like lost my fear. Like I I was like stressing a lot about the flight. I'm all like doughy, dewy. dewy. <laughs> um, I was stressing a lot about the flight. I was, st I was like really stressed about flying plus size and like all of that. And not just flying plus size. Like I, I've flown plus size plenty of times but it's always it, it's just always nerve-wracking when you're first doing it um but I'm really nervous flying by myself like I'm gonna be by myself <laughs> so I know I can do it um and I know that it's not gonna be that big of a deal it's only a one-hour flight um but I <laughs> I am still a little nervous but I haven't been as nervous I think because I've been so stressed about everything else that the flying plus size just hasn't been that big of a deal to me um, but I'm ready for it. So <laughs> we shall see how that goes. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I just, there's just so much on my mind, you guys. So much, so much. I think I did a pretty good job painting it. Like I hate when you put the clear coat and then it like thins out the color because maybe I didn't let it dry all the way. Doesn't the candle sound so soothing? And then I don't know if you guys watch ASMR, but I love ASMR. It's really relaxing to me. It helps me fall asleep, 
but a lot of the ASMR people that I follow on YouTube, they're starting to put out their Halloween content, so it's really nice. <laughs> it's like spooky ASMR. So I've really been enjoying that. Oh, my nose itches. Oh. So yeah, um, I don't know. I don't really have anything else to talk about, you guys. Um, I know some of you guys want to see pictures and stuff of the graduation. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. I don't know we'll uh, probably not I don't know you guys I don't know what I want to do it's really it's really intimate and it's really like that's I think that's getting too a little bit too transparent <laughs> for my comfort so I, I don't know I don't think I'm gonna be posting anything like that um, for you guys to see for the sake of my own personal preference and my privacy but um we'll see i don't know um but yeah are you guys ready for october 1st like literally tomorrow is the 30th and then it's october 1st how many months do we look forward to this time you know and it's like it's so nice because we're we're pretty much on the brink of it this is spooky season um it's so much fun to see the the pumpkin patches being put up and to see like the Halloween stuff in the stores and just, you know, the kids are, pick, you know, looking at their Halloween costumes and it just everything is Halloween-y right now and I love it. <laughs> it makes me so happy. Um, I just wish that it was as magical as it feels in, on the East Coast. Like, I will never forget my first fall on the East Coast. That was the most beautiful experience I've ever had. <laughs> so those of you guys who live on the East Coast and you see fall for what it really is you guys are so lucky like you are so lucky it's literally fall on the east coast is like in the movies like how the horror movies show fall it literally looks like that okay all right i think look at my clear coat is all like cloudy because of the polish oh dear So, what else can we talk about? I haven't gotten any new decks. I don't have anything like tarot related to talk about really. Mm. I don't. I was looking for a witch book, you guys. So, um, there was the one book I bought, Witch by Lisa Lister, was kind of a disappointment. Um, I didn't really like that book. There was another book I have, um, which is, which is across America or American, I don't know, something like that. It's, it's kind of good, but I'm not really liking it either. I'm, but I'm looking for a witchy nonfiction read. So I want a book where like someone talks about witchcraft, like all around the world, um, witchcraft in general, like that kind of thing. But I, I don't want like a love and light, like super positive kind of a <laughs> new agey kind of a witchy book I want like I want to read about like what is truly all about witchcraft like what it what it entails what it really is like that that deep dark side of witch witchcraft not saying that it's all dark and all that but I'm just I feel like like the witch book that I have by Lisa Lister, I would grab it, but I don't want to mess up my nails. Um, I feel like that one just was, ugh, it was a disappointment. It was so like, some of the viewpoints on it were a little kind of closed minded. Um, there was some stuff that I enjoyed about it, but then there was other stuff where it was, it was just a bit much or it was like once or twice was enough to hear it but not repeatedly <laughs> so i was a little disappointed with the book we um we did it for a book club um in my facebook group of like a year or two ago um and there was a lot of like a lot of people were upset about the book and i didn't really understand it at the time until i started reading it and then i was like oh i kind of see why now okay um, so I want a, another witch book to read and I wanted to read one this season like this fall season Since you know witchery is that's the big thing right now. Like that's 
at least when you think of like Halloween, like the first thing you think of is witch and pumpkins. <laughs> um, so I wanted to kind of do like an educational read, but I haven't found one and I don't, I don't know if I'm going to find one in time. Um, but if you guys have a witch book in mind that you recommend, let me know in the comments, please, because <laughs> I'm definitely looking for something like that to read. If not, I might just pick up like, I might finish, finish reading Warrior Goddess Training. I haven't finished that book. Um, I don't know, but I wanted to read some kind of a witchery book. I just haven't found one. Oh, but I did buy, um, a botanical like a, a herb, um, herb spell book kind of a thing from Barnes and Noble. And I really want to familiarize myself with the herbs and their metaphysical property properties, their spiritual properties and all of that. Um, because I'm really interested in all of that. I'm really getting into it. Um, and so I really want to read more about it and become more familiar with like the properties of like, you know, mint and the properties of, of lavender and the properties of, sage and the properties of all this other stuff and so um i really want to educate myself on that so um i'll probably just read that if i can't find a really good witchy book <laughs> but as you guys know like i like to read i like to read fiction and then i like to read a non-fiction with it um so i haven't found my non-fiction yet i tried to finish the like i think it's called witches of witches around america or something like that um but i'm just not I'm not liking it. Um, the tone of the author is just, she's, it, I, it kind of feels a little judgmental to me in my opinion. I don't know if any of you guys have read that book. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for something good. Something good. Um, but other than that, you guys, I think that that's pretty much it that I have to say. And then I just wanted to come on here and talk while I painted my nails. <laughs> So um, I'm going to go ahead and go. I'm going to wait for the nails to dry. I'm going to see what readings I have to do and maybe I'll film one or not. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I just want to enjoy the rest of the night. So <laughs> I hope you guys are having a really good night. I hope you guys had a good weekend. A lot of you guys will be going back to work tomorrow, as will I. Um, and yeah, so I will talk, touch, touch, talk. I was going to say talk, but touch at the same time. <laughs> I will talk to you guys later, probably tomorrow morning before I go to work. So we'll see. Um, but anyways, love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye now.